Hi, welcome to the ASI show in Dallas. I'm here speaking with John Mackey today. John, how are you doing? Doing very well, sir. John gave a great speech today about conscious capitalism. He's the co-founder and CEO of Whole Foods and some really great insights, very philosophical. Ben was really, really terrific. So I wanted to first ask you about, you presented this idea of a sort of different model for, for, for leader, leadership. You know, you know, why is that sort of idea important in today's business world? Why is uh, the importance of conscious leadership yes. important in today's business world? I think more than ever, people, we need, if we're going to solve our problems, we need good leadership in politics, we need it in business, we need it in the, in the nonprofit sector. I think leadership's more important today than ever. Um, so, in some ways, I was just passing on things I've learned about leadership that help me be successful in business and life. And just hopefully, other people that I shared it with will find a value. And you, you challenge people in the audience to you know, become those conscious leaders to, to grow and to find their higher purpose. Yes. So how can they do that? I think you find your higher purpose, I mean, at least I found mine this way, by being true to yourself, following what I call following your heart. Uh, most people are too afraid to do that, afraid that they'll fail, or afraid that uh, They'll be rejected by their families or their friends, or that people seek security instead. But what I learned is that there really is no security, ultimately. I mean, we're going to die. Whatever we do to be safe, ultimately, we're going to pass through here. We can't stay. In view of that, then really living your life in a way that allows you to be sort of true to yourself, when you begin to follow that path, your own purpose in life emerges, you'll discover it. But you won't discover it unless you're willing to be true to yourself and follow your heart to go, to go together. Now at the beginning of your speech, you had some really great ideas about how sort of businesses misportrayed and that everybody's yeah. in it ju just to make money. Now in the, in the audience, you know, I'm sure they're wondering, can I still be you know, a conscious leader and have a positive effect on society? But in doing that, am I sacrificing my revenue and my way of living? No, I mean we're seeking the win-win-win strategies. If you're not, if you're not making money, then you're failing, and, and you're one of the most important jobs as a business person. Business people, through creating profits, create the wealth that, that lifts people out of poverty, that allows humanity that capital needs to advance and to evolve. So you have an ethical responsibility to make money. Making money is a good thing. We have these false polarities that you're either making money or you're doing something good, or that if you are making money, then someone else is getting less. And the real secret to understanding about business is that you look for strategies for all the stakeholders to win. And where the customers are winning, the employees are winning, the suppliers are winning, the investors are winning, the communities that we're part of are winning. In fact, if your strategy doesn't allow all of those to flourish and win, go back to the drawing board. Look for different strategies that will allow those win-win-win relationships. So, okay, well, you gave a great speech today and really inspired people. Good show. So thank you for joining us today. All right, thanks, Jessica. And you're watching ASI TV.